we got after it today. We practiced. Um, you know, we lost uh, two and six in your last eight. Uh, fatigue can't be a factor. You got to get a win. I mean, you just got to come in. You got to work, and you got to uh, you got to play with urgency. Coach, how important is this week for you guys? Four games here at home. Yeah, you know, we've been struggling a little bit. We got to take advantage of being back at home, but uh, we got to understand that just just being back here isn't the answer. You know, we we've got to get to work. We got to after it today in practice. Um, you know, hopefully, got better. You know, with some of the things that have been hurting us with the transition defense, our uh, our defensive rebounding, um, our defense in general. Um, you know, we start guarding people. Like we said after the Denver game, we start start guarding people. We'll start winning. How much did, did Yana participate today in practice? Uh, just warmed up with us. Just warmed up. How do you see his his uh, status right now? I know you guys listed him as questionable, but how has he been since uh, Tuesday in Phoenix? Uh, there's a 50% chance he plays tomorrow. I can't really give you any more than that. It's you know, he's going to be reevaluated tomorrow. And, uh, has has Miles Turner done any, enough to earn a starting role at this point? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, right now, I mean, I, I thought about putting him in there after, I think, it was after the Phoenix game. Um, but I thought in the second half of the Phoenix game, when he was out there with Monte and Paul, he got a little bit lost in the offense. So. Uh, right now, I like him coming off the bench and you know, using him as a. I think he's getting more touches and more opportunities uh, with, with that group, and then we can extend him his minutes through that. Um, that'll probably be the plan uh, for the short, short term. Kind of easier for. I got kind of easier for rookies to get into rhythm at home in front of hometown fans. How impressed were you? How encouraged were you by what Joe and Miles were able to do on the road? Yeah, both of those guys. Uh, you know, they've been. Well, Joe's been waiting for his opportunity and uh, made the best of it. Um, and obviously, Miles had some spectacular games out there. So it's, it's definitely impressive that they can do it on the road. And um, hopefully, it continues here at home. Your thoughts on this matchup tomorrow against the Clippers? I know that one time they had about 10 games they won in a row. Um, give me your thoughts on this tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, they're a championship contender. You know, so um, you know, I think they're 11 and 3 or something. Uh, very, very impressive without, without Blake. And we don't know yet if Blake's going to play. But, you know, they're playing at a really, really high level, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. And then, like we said, they're a contender. So uh, we're going to have to bring it. Frank, what, do you, what do you miss when, when Jan's not on the court defensively? Well, he's one of the best defensive centers in the league. You know, I mean, it's, it's that simple. His rim protection, his, his pick and roll coverages, his ability uh, to use his mobility to get back to big shooters. Um, you know, but he's also a great finisher offensively, offensively for us. Uh, we miss him there as well. So uh, missing him on both ends.